Did you know that mastering the art of silence could completely transform your life? Most of us think that being heard means speaking louder, saying more, or finding the right words. But the truth is, if you want to elevate your interactions, deepen your connections, and gain inner strength. Learning how to embrace silence can be the ultimate game changer. The best wisdom I've ever heard is that sometimes saying nothing at all speaks louder than words. In today's noisy world, silence is often overlooked or even feared, yet it holds incredible power. Silence isn't just about staying quiet, it's about listening with purpose, understanding ourselves more deeply, and approaching every interaction with a calm, unshakable presence. This might sound simple, but knowing when to speak and when to stay silent is an art that takes wisdom, resilience and intention. If you're ready to avoid the common mistake of thinking silence is a weakness and want to use it as a tool for strength, respect and self-awareness, this journey is for you. Together, we'll explore how Stoic principles like self-awareness, resilience, kindness and humility can guide us to harness the power of silence in ways that not only enrich our own lives, but deeply impact those around us. So, whether you're looking to build stronger relationships, make wiser decisions, or simply find a sense of calm in a fast-paced world, let's dive into the profound art of silence. Here's how you can unlock its true potential and transform your life through Stoic wisdom. Number 1. Embracing the power of silence. Imagine a day when you wake up and instead of reaching for your phone or engaging with the constant chatter of the world, you choose silence. There's an immediate sense of peace in that quiet moment, a rare feeling of lightness in a world that always seems to demand more. You realize that this silence isn't just an absence of noise, but a moment of presence, of connection with yourself. You find clarity, simplicity, and a freedom that feels refreshing in a way that noise and constant engagement rarely provide. This is a happiness so subtle, yet so profound, one that's readily accessible but often overlooked. The power of silence goes beyond mere quietness. In fact, silence is an ancient practice, deeply valued by the Stoics and other wisdom traditions. The Stoics believed that silence was essential for cultivating inner strength, for finding perspective, and for living in harmony with others and with oneself. When you choose to embrace silence, you're not just taking a break from speaking, you're making space for reflection, for insight, and for deeper understanding. Silence, as the Stoics knew, allows us to pause and consider our reactions, to distance ourselves from impulsive responses, and to observe the world with a more discerning, grounded eye. Take a moment to think back, maybe to a time when words caused misunderstanding or when speaking hastily led to regret. In contrast, think of those times when silence held the most profound wisdom, when saying less brought clarity, respect, or connection. Nostalgic memories remind us that sometimes our most impactful moments come from the things left unsaid, from those pauses that allowed for real thought or the gentle space we gave someone to feel truly heard. Our culture might prioritize talk and action, but there's a kind of magic in the pauses, a strength that's revealed only in restraint. This wisdom of silence brings a curiosity, doesn't it? How is it that silence, something so simple, can have such a profound impact on our lives, our relationships, our sense of self? It invites us to think about how often we fill silence just to avoid discomfort, or how we might use our words as shields, disguising what's truly felt beneath the surface. What if we embraced silence more often? What if we used it as a tool to reveal who we are, to connect with our authentic selves and to communicate with others in a way that is deeper, more intentional and more meaningful. 
By adopting this approach, we can transform silence into one of our most powerful allies on the path to a thoughtful, intentional life. Number 2. Cultivating Meaningful Interactions Through humility, think about the connections you've built over the years, the friendships, family bonds, partnerships, or even brief but memorable encounters with strangers. It's likely that the most fulfilling connections are the ones built on respect, understanding, and a genuine desire to listen. These interactions bring a kind of joy that's lasting, a happiness that feels both fulfilling and natural. This joy doesn't stem from the need to prove anything or to outshine anyone, but from the peace and harmony that genuine human connection provides. And at the core of these meaningful interactions is humility, the ability to step back, to let go of pride, and to listen with an open heart. The Stoics, especially philosophers like Epictetus and Marcus Aurelius, taught that humility, freedom from pride and arrogance, was essential for a life of meaningful relationships and inner peace. They believed that the person who listens more than they speak holds an invisible strength. Humility allows us to step outside of our ego, to prioritize understanding over being understood, and to connect deeply with others without the barrier of judgment or pretense. When we listen with humility, we show respect not just for others, but for the inherent value of every individual's unique experience. Reflect for a moment on the people you've met who embodied this quality. Perhaps you've known someone who, rather than dominating conversations or trying to prove themselves, simply listened. They asked thoughtful questions, offered you space, and showed a kindness that lingered long after the conversation ended. These people remain vivid in our memory because they made us feel seen, heard, and valued. Nostalgically, we remember how they brought out the best in us simply by allowing us to be ourselves without pressure or judgment. These moments of true connection stay with us, reminding us of the importance of humility and empathy in a world that can often feel too loud and demanding. But what if we could cultivate this quality in ourselves? Imagine the depth of relationships we could create, the level of understanding and kindness we could bring to our interactions. This curiosity pulls us toward a life of intentional connections, one where we aim to listen as much as we speak, to approach others with a humble heart, and to leave behind a legacy of respect and empathy. It challenges us to think about our own interactions. Are we listening to reply, or are we listening to understand? Are we approaching people with humility, or are we letting our pride get in the way of real, meaningful connection? By asking ourselves these questions, we step onto a path that leads us closer to a life of depth, harmony, and fulfillment. Number three. The strategic use of silence in negotiations. Picture this. You're in a meeting, a tense negotiation where every word seems to carry weight. Amid the back and forth, you notice a peculiar kind of power, a quiet, unspoken energy. It's the power of silence, of pausing in a moment when everyone else seems eager to speak. There's a sense of control in that silence, a confidence that says more than words ever could. In this quiet space, you feel a sense of strength, not because of what's been said, but because of what hasn't. This is the joy of strategic silence, a feeling of groundedness and control that lets you navigate conversations with calm, precision and purpose. The Stoics understood the power of silence, especially in high-stakes situations like negotiations. They knew that silence wasn't just about holding back words, it was about creating a space where true understanding could emerge. In negotiations, this silence becomes a strategic tool. It allows you to observe, to listen, and to understand the motivations and intentions of others before responding. Silence shifts the dynamics of a conversation, giving you time to think, to reflect and to gain insight into what's really being said beneath the surface. 
Looking back, we might remember times when words failed us, when saying too much complicated a situation, or when silence might have served us better. Think of a heated debate or an argument where words flew too fast, emotions ran high, and clarity was lost. Nostalgically, we may recall those moments with a tinge of regret, wishing we had paused, listened, or simply allowed the conversation to breathe. In contrast, we also remember those powerful moments of quiet, a knowing look, a calm nod, or just the space to process that allowed a situation to de-escalate, to reach a more meaningful resolution. These experiences remind us of the wisdom and effectiveness of silence in the art of negotiation. Now imagine how different our interactions could be if we embraced the power of silence in these moments. What if, instead of rushing to fill the air with words, we allowed space for reflection, for others to think, and for ourselves to gain clarity? This curiosity about silence draws us into the possibilities it offers stronger negotiations, better understanding, and more authentic connections. We begin to see silence not as an absence of speech, but as a deliberate choice, a pause that allows for thoughtfulness and wisdom to emerge. In these pauses, we find the opportunity to steer conversations with subtlety, to build rapport without overpowering, and to lead with a quiet strength that commands respect. Number four, building strength. Through self-awareness, imagine standing at a calm riverbank, watching the steady flow of water as it mirrors the sky above. In that stillness, there's a sense of clarity, a perspective that allows you to see the world, and maybe even yourself, a little more clearly. Now, imagine bringing that same clarity and calm into your mind. Imagine understanding yourself so well that you're no longer thrown off course by the daily ups and downs of life. This sense of internal stability, of grounding, is the happiness and strength that self-awareness brings. It's an ability to see yourself fully, to understand your motivations, your desires, your strengths and your weaknesses, all without judgment. Self-awareness, according to Stoic philosophy, is one of the pillars of inner strength. The Stoics believed that by understanding ourselves deeply, we could free ourselves from the grip of irrational thoughts and reactive emotions. Through self-awareness, we develop a kind of mental resilience that allows us to stay centered no matter what life throws at us. By understanding our own triggers, our own patterns of thought and our reactions, we become less likely to fall prey to unnecessary suffering. We gain the ability to observe our lives with a sense of calm and control, rather than being tossed around by our own thoughts and emotions. Think back to a time when you felt completely in sync with yourself. Perhaps you were deeply engaged in something you're passionate about, or maybe you were having an honest conversation that allowed you to be truly open and vulnerable. Those moments of self-awareness, when you could see yourself clearly, often feel like a kind of relief, a glimpse of who you really are beneath all the surface noise. Nostalgically, we might remember times when a new insight into our own minds helped us overcome a difficult situation or recognize a pattern that was holding us back. Self-awareness doesn't just help us understand ourselves, it helps us make conscious choices about how we live our lives. This journey into self-awareness is as profound as it is challenging. It raises a powerful curiosity. What parts of ourselves are we not seeing? What hidden motivations, fears or desires might be influencing our actions without us realizing it? By embarking on a path of self-awareness, we open ourselves to a world of insight and growth. We learn to question our thoughts, to notice our emotions, and to make conscious decisions about how we respond to life's challenges. Through self-awareness, we build a kind of inner strength that no external force can shake. A resilience that empowers us to live authentically and meaningfully. Number five. The art of silence in conversations. 
Imagine sitting in a room full of people, perhaps at a family gathering or a work event, and feeling the noise of countless conversations around you. Yet, rather than diving into the chatter, you choose to listen, observing the flow of words, watching body language, and noticing the underlying emotions and intentions. This choice to embrace silence is powerful. It's not a retreat, but an active stance, an opportunity to understand more deeply, to respond more thoughtfully. Silence in conversation is an art, and like any art, it requires practice, patience, and awareness. In a world that seems to reward quick responses and constant chatter, silence can feel like a radical choice. It may even make others uncomfortable as they expect you to fill the space with words. However, silence has its own language. It communicates attentiveness, respect, and often allows for more meaningful exchanges. When you pause in a conversation, you create a space where real connection can happen. You allow the other person's words to settle, giving them the opportunity to share more deeply and openly. In these moments, silence becomes a gift, a sign of genuine interest and respect. Think back to a time when you had a profound conversation with someone. Maybe it was late at night with a close friend or during a quiet moment with a loved one. You might remember that the most impactful parts of that conversation weren't in the words spoken, but in the silent moments, the pauses where understanding settled in, where feelings were felt, not just spoken. There's a nostalgia in these moments, a recognition that silence can hold a depth that words often struggle to convey. As we explore the art of silence in conversations, it raises a fascinating curiosity. How would our relationships change if we embraced silence more often? What could we learn about others and ourselves by choosing to listen without the immediate need to respond? Silence in conversation isn't about withholding thoughts or disengaging. It's about being fully present, about creating a space where true connection can emerge. Through silence, we invite others to share freely and honestly, and we in turn become more grounded, more attuned, and more capable of truly understanding those around us. Number six, kindness and consideration. Stoic values in action. Picture a world where kindness and consideration are practiced not as grand gestures, but as simple daily actions. Holding a door open, offering a listening ear, or showing patience with a stranger. These may seem like small acts, but in a world that often feels fast-paced and impersonal, they are profoundly impactful. Stoicism teaches us that true strength comes not from dominating others, but from treating everyone with respect and kindness. Kindness and consideration are not weaknesses, they are reflections of inner strength and resilience. When we approach life with kindness, we cultivate a mindset that allows us to see the best in others, even when they are struggling or behaving poorly. Stoics understood that every person is dealing with their own inner battles, their own challenges. By choosing kindness, we acknowledge the humanity in everyone, and in doing so, we elevate ourselves. There's a happiness that comes from acts of kindness, a quiet joy that reinforces our own values and reminds us of our shared connection with others. Reflecting on past acts of kindness, whether given or received, brings a warm sense of nostalgia. Think of a time when someone showed you unexpected kindness, perhaps a teacher who believed in you or a stranger who helped you in a difficult moment. These memories remind us that kindness has a lasting impact, often beyond what we realize in the moment. It's a reminder that our actions, however small, have the power to shape the lives of others. Kindness invites us to be curious about the lives and experiences of others. What silent battles are people around us fighting? How might our compassion and understanding create a ripple effect, spreading positivity beyond ourselves? Practicing kindness and consideration isn't just a moral choice. It's a path to deeper connection, greater empathy, and a life filled with purpose. 
Through kindness, we become the kind of person who not only survives life's challenges, but enriches the lives of those around us. Number seven, the power of deep listening. Imagine a conversation where you feel truly heard, where the other person isn't just waiting for their turn to speak, but is fully engaged in what you're saying. Deep listening is rare, but it's one of the most powerful gifts we can give to others. When we listen deeply, we move beyond simply hearing words. We connect with emotions, understand perspectives, and acknowledge experiences. Deep listening is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, rooted in respect and a commitment to seeing others as equals. In a fast-paced society that often prizes quick responses over thoughtful reflection, deep listening is an act of mindfulness. It requires us to set aside our own thoughts, judgments and distractions to be present with another person. There's happiness in the calm focus of listening deeply, a sense of peace that comes from letting go of our own concerns, if only for a moment, to truly understand someone else. Reflecting on times when we felt deeply listened to can bring a wave of nostalgia. Maybe it was a mentor who listened without judgment, or a friend who took the time to understand what you were going through. These moments remind us of the power of being seen and heard, of the importance of empathy in building strong relationships. This idea of deep listening invites us to be curious about how we can better connect with others. How often do we really listen without planning our response or thinking about ourselves? What would happen if we approached each conversation as an opportunity to learn rather than as a chance to speak? Deep listening strengthens our relationships, builds trust, and creates a foundation of mutual respect and understanding. Through deep listening, we become more compassionate, more insightful, and more connected to the people around us. Number eight, reflective wisdom, speaking with purpose. Consider the power of words spoken with intention. In a world filled with endless chatter and constant communication, words can easily lose their meaning. But when we choose our words carefully, with purpose and clarity, they gain weight, becoming tools for wisdom and connection. Stoicism teaches us to value thoughtful speech, to speak only when we have something meaningful to say. Speaking with purpose is an act of respect, not only for others, but for ourselves and the values we uphold. Speaking with purpose requires a certain discipline. It means resisting the urge to fill silence with empty words, choosing instead to let our words reflect our true thoughts and intentions. There's happiness in this restraint, a sense of satisfaction that comes from aligning our words with our values. When we speak with purpose, we create an environment of honesty and respect, encouraging others to do the same. Looking back on moments when we chose our words carefully or when someone else spoke to us with intention can bring a sense of nostalgia. Maybe it was a heartfelt conversation with a loved one or advice from someone we admire. These memories remind us that words have the power to inspire, to heal, and to strengthen our relationships. This approach to speaking with purpose raises a fascinating curiosity. What impact could we have if we spoke with intention more often? How might our relationships change if we prioritized clarity and authenticity in our conversations? Reflective wisdom encourages us to see language as a tool, one that, when used thoughtfully, can uplift and unite. Through purposeful speech, we become voices of reason, compassion, and strength in a world that often feels chaotic and disconnected. Number nine, building resilience through silence. Imagine facing a difficult situation, a conflict at work, a challenging decision, or a moment of personal struggle. In these times, silence can be a powerful tool. Rather than reacting impulsively, we can choose to pause, to reflect, and to let our emotions settle. 
Building resilience through silence means embracing stillness as a way to process and overcome life's challenges. It's a lesson in patience and a reminder that we don't always need to act immediately. Silence gives us the space to observe our emotions, to understand our reactions and to choose our responses thoughtfully. This inner resilience, cultivated through silence, allows us to face adversity with strength and clarity. There's a calm happiness that comes from knowing we can handle whatever life throws at us without losing our center. Resilience isn't about avoiding hardship, it's about navigating it with grace. Reflecting on past challenges can bring a sense of nostalgia. Think about times when silence helped you see a situation more clearly, or when a moment of reflection led you to a wise decision. These memories remind us of the strength we've built through patience, and they inspire us to continue cultivating resilience in the face of future challenges. This approach to resilience invites us to explore a deeper curiosity. How might our lives change if we embraced silence more often? What insights could we gain by choosing to pause before reacting? By building resilience through silence, we become more grounded, more adaptable, and more capable of facing life's trials with a calm and steady mind. Number 10. The Path to Stoic Transformation and Wisdom Imagine setting out on a path, not knowing exactly where it will lead, but trusting that each step will bring you closer to wisdom and inner peace. The Stoic journey is a path of transformation, a commitment to becoming the best version of ourselves through self-discipline, humility, and an unwavering dedication to truth. This journey is not about perfection, it's about progress about making choices that align with our highest values and deepest beliefs. The path to Stoic wisdom is challenging, but it's also incredibly rewarding. As we cultivate virtues like courage, kindness and resilience, we begin to see the world with greater clarity and compassion. There's a profound happiness that comes from living in alignment with our values, from knowing that we are making a positive impact on the world around us. Stoic wisdom isn't just a philosophy, it's a way of life, one that empowers us to face life's challenges with grace and integrity. Looking back on our journey so far, there's a sense of nostalgia, a recognition of the growth we've experienced, the lessons we've learned, and the strength we've gained. Each struggle, each challenge, has brought us closer to the person we aspire to be. The Stoic path is a lifelong journey, one that invites us to continually reflect, grow, and strive for wisdom. As we continue on this path, there's a deep curiosity that drives us forward. What new insights will we gain? How will we continue to evolve, to deepen our understanding and expand our capacity for compassion and resilience? The Stoic journey is a commitment to lifelong growth, to becoming a person of wisdom, strength, and grace. Through this path, we not only transform ourselves, but also inspire others to live with purpose and integrity. In a world that often prioritizes noise and speed, embracing silence can become your most powerful tool for inner peace and meaningful growth. By cultivating silence, you're not only enhancing your own self-awareness and resilience, but you're also bringing more intention, kindness and depth to your interactions. It's a journey that, while challenging, has the potential to transform how you connect with others and how you view yourself, revealing the strength that comes from calmness and clarity. If you've stayed with us this far, drop a hundred in the comments. It shows you're among the few who are serious about growth and self-mastery. And if you're committed to making these changes last, don't miss out on future insights. Hit that subscribe button and join us on this journey to unlock your full potential.